es un venganza What's up guys, AB Trades here. So, as you guys know, um, I just recently got a McLaren, right? <clears throat> and it's been a long time coming. So, first of all, just a little story time. So I had never seen a McLaren until I moved to Florida, right? So I moved to Florida. 2021 may 2021 right then i had never seen one until then but i had never driven one yet at that time then fast forward probably six seven months later like five six months later i met raul which we're very close friends as you guys know as well and raul happened to have one at the time and whatever we were going to a car event and the car event was like an hour away and he's like yo i want to take you know, his other car, he's like, yo, if you want to take this one, which happened to be the McLaren, the 720. And I drove that car, and ever since I drove it out one time, I just knew somewhere along the way, one day I had to own one. Like, it was, that car was, it's on my vision board. It, I even had a whole Instagram post, which you guys can go on my Instagram and scroll all the way down. It's a white one back in like 2021. Some random guy in my building had one in the garage and I took a picture next to it as kind of like a manifesting, speaking into existence type of thing. And whatever, I just knew at some point I was going to buy one. Beginning of this year, I told myself this year was going to be the year I own one. They didn't know when, what time. I just knew it was going to happen at some point, right? The opportunity, I started looking in the market without no date on it. Like I just started looking and the opportunity presented itself of a few different ones then i went and checked out a few different ones but whatever they just wasn't the spec that it like i'll see them and it wasn't like okay this is the one and then lamborghini brower happened to have one spider blue interior blue outside like the car was just perfect low miles 2022 so i have warranty for the next three years i don't have to worry about it and everybody knows mclaren warranty is a must those cars without warranty are not it um so the opportunity presented itself and yeah i went and checked out the car and everything just went perfect ended up getting the car and, and it felt like a very surreal moment like it like it didn't hit me i, I got the car right Oh, you got a rental, buddy? Nah, <laughs> buddy, this is not a rental, let me tell you. First supercar. Super excited. I don't even know what to feel right now. I've been driving it for about 30 seconds so far, so. So far, so good. We're about to see now what we got going on here. Oh, come on, bro. Seriously? <laughs> Well, we're already getting a little sideways. It doesn't require a lot for the for the rear to break. Yeah, right? Bro, insane spec, blue interior, um, blue exterior, all carbon, 2022. Bro, insane spec, insane spec. Spider, by the way, insane spec, bro. Insane, insane. <laughs> <laughs> Finally, I get to cross that out the vision board. Finally. Wow. Nice. Drove it home, whatever, we're all hyped. Whatever, I park it in the garage, still hasn't hit me at this time period yet. I'm like, damn, like th this is crazy, whatever, but it hadn't really hit me yet. One of my buddies named Stanley actually tells me, yo, it's not gonna hit you until next day you wake up and you go downstairs and you see both of your cars there. Whatever, I went to sleep that night. I wake up next day 
And when I went downstairs to the garage and I saw it there next to my other car, I'm like, that's when it like, I, I, I had to take like 10 minutes of just, I just stood there and I stared at both of them and I just couldn't believe I really got that car. Cause it might just be a car, but it's just a, it's just, it was proof to myself that whatever you speak into the, you know, into the universe and whatever you put your mind to and work towards, you could achieve it. You know what I mean? So especially coming from, you know, growing up driving Civics and, and you know, Accords and stuff like that, you know, you, you can only dream of driving something like that. So when I woke up that day and I saw it in the garage, it was like, this is really my car. This is, this is really my car. So it's just been a surreal experience to be honest. And, and it's definitely pushed me to want to work harder, want to, you know, set higher standards, higher goals for myself. And now I understand anything I speak into existence and I work towards, I could definitely achieve. So, you know, it's just one of those things that I was very glad to cross off the, the vision board and now just working towards the next goals on that vision board. You know what I mean? Which they're not as materialistic, but you know, that was one of those things that it was like, okay, this is for my personal, you know, I, I wanted that car, you know what I'm saying? And I'll probably keep that car for a long time, even if I do get other ones, but I for sure keep that, especially since it was the first one. It's like that emotional attachment to it. So I'll for sure definitely keep that car for quite some time. And for those that's been following me for, you know, a few years now, I just want to appreciate you guys for, you know, coming along throughout the journey and, you know, seeing everything basically, you know, I, I, I'm nothing special. I'm no better, smarter than anybody or better than anybody just, Work hard, you know, be dedicated to, to your craft and just show up every day. You know what I mean? I got this towel in my hand that says persistent. And it's basically, I was gonna put consistency, but cons consistency was, without persistency is nothing. You gotta be persistent every day. Persistent with your goals, persistent with your routine, persistent with your discipline, persistent with everything you do in life. So got to tie it on me just for the simple fact that, you know, as a reminder that that's key to, you know, achieving other goals that I have in mind and other future things that I do want to achieve. And, you know, I hope you guys come along for the journey. And I just want to thank you guys for, you know, being here and yeah, all the support and love you all. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.